Cry fans, welcome back, and here we go. This is going to be the final round of the HCW, or not the final round, the final match for the first round of the HCW Tag Team Title Tournament. And of course, we already know who it's going to be. It's Skull Rider and Mr. Cool Daddy, and to my knowledge, they're taking on Hugo Ryan and Jeremy Walker here in this matchup. This one is going to be one heck of an interesting match to see. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I may be wrong that these two teams fought each other before. Uh, I think I'm, I think they haven't. I'm not too sure. I think they haven't. Uh, yeah, I don't believe they have either. Uh, to be honest with you, Daniel. But actually, uh, right now I'm getting something come to my headset that uh, you go Ryan and Jeremy Walker are not here tonight. What? Well, who's replacing them then? I don't know, but oh man. Is this who I... It's the oh. outside invasion! Oh no! Oh, oh my god, what what a total shock and turn of events here. Uh, yeah, I mean, Hugo Ryan and Jeremy Walker not here tonight for unknown reasons, and and we've got the outside invasion. I mean, you know more about these guys than I do, Daniel, so you know, I guess I'll just kind of let you explain to the fans who the hell these guys are. Yeah, well, 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 the outside invasion are a team from Extreme who came in and pretty much dominated the Extreme Tag Team Division along with the Ministry. I mean, these two were pretty much like, one of the top teams here, and it was just unbelievable to see that, that these guys are here. And uh, uh, well, basically, well, in the ring now, if I believe it's right, it's uh, Vlad, and the other guy is called Boris, and like the German and of German and Russian descent. And they're just one hell of a powerhouse team. Well, I tell you what, it's definitely yeah. taking Skull Rider and Mr. Cool Daddy off guard here. Because, I mean, like we had stated before, you really don't know who you're going to be competing against throughout the tournament. But we came down to the last two teams, and so Mr. Cool Daddy and Skull Rider assumed they were fighting Society X here tonight. So, I mean, they're probably a little bit prepared for them. And all of a sudden, it's the outside invasion. I mean, these guys, they have never faced each other before. And uh, I don't know, I mean, it, it definitely could be taking Skull Rider and Mr. Cool Daddy totally out of their element here. But so far, Skull Rider seems to be doing good against, uh, who, what do you say, Vlad? Vla Vlad or Vl Vlad, Vlad, I think it's Vlad. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a weird name. He's a weird person. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right now we got Skull Rider, he's going to tag out to Mr. Cool Daddy. Let's see what Mr. Cool Daddy can do here. And I think that is most probably one of the best strategies that they can do is to keep tagging in, keep trying to keep fresh people coming in and just getting it like that, just keep getting fresh people in out because really the outside invasion are a very powerful team. Yeah. Mr. Cool Daddy and Skull Rider, you know, I don't, they've never been tag team champions before. You know, and uh, they're both former hardcore champions, so, you know, the whole thing about tag team division is definitely, you know, they've tagged up a lot, but, I mean, I don't know, I just, this is going to be one of those matchups to where either team, you know, has the caliber of winning, I believe, but, you know, I don't know, I kind of have to give the upper advantage to the outside invasion. Well, well yeah, I mean, you don't have to, because, in a way, could the outside invasion have prepared to take on the school and school ride, I'm not too sure. I mean, did outside evasion know that you go Ryan and Jeremy Walker got released? I mean, we don't know, but we know for one thing, Mr. Cooldown and Scorer could not have prepared. Definitely, there's no team in the tournament that can have prepared for the outside invasion. That's that's the thing. Because I mean, the list of teams that were involved in this tournament were released weeks ago. So I mean, at least you knew what teams were going to be in the tournament. Outside Invasion weren't even in it. So it's like the, the whole name of their team just fits perfectly in this tournament right now. I mean, it's, it's an Outside Invasion onto the Tag Team Tournament. I know. Well, it looks like the same. It's a cool daddy and uh, I think it's Boris. I, I really need to uh, get these names sorted out. I think all the way for Extreme, I was pronouncing the wrong people <laughs> in the Outside Invasion. I mean, they're really confusing on the names. Yeah, definitely. Right now we see Outside Invasion here just teaming up now Mr. Cool Daddy. Mr. Cool Daddy's actually fighting his way out. Wow, that, that was pretty impressive, but Morris doesn't seem to like that too well. I know, no. I'm saying I've got like, Mr. Cool Daddy here in the, in the corner. And, oh, Mr. Cool Daddy, he's putting up a really 
great effort against the outside invasion on his own, but he needs to tag in his partner. Yeah, I agree, you know, I mean, right now, I mean, Boris, you know, every time, I mean, did this is just unbelievable here because and now we see Skull Rider grabbing a hold of Boris, but I was fixing to say, every time the outside invasion get trapped in uh, Skull Rider and Mr. Cool Daddy's corner, they find a way out, but this time, Mr. Cool Daddy and Skull Rider were one step ahead, and now they're in control here now, and Mr. Cool Daddy's got Boris in a very bad spot. I'm saying now, this is the point where they can't really let Boris up. They can't let him up. They gotta keep drowning and pounding, keeping him down on the ground. Because if they don't, as soon as Boris gets up, he almost probably kicks straight in the face. This this guy is known for his kicks. It, his kicks can send people flying across the ring. And I gotta say right now, like you said before, uh, Mr. Cool Daddy definitely holding his own here against the outside invasion and now and now Boris though I tell you just one reversal is all it took and now he's back in total control of the match here and Mr. Cool Daddy favoring the back of his neck here now. So wait a minute now look at this hair. <laughs> just choking away on it, Mr. Cool Daddy. Yeah, that's just unbelievable now. Oh, that's it looks like outside invasion outside invasion will do anything to win I guess. Yeah look at that I was like it's really like a brutal arm ball there. But by Boris on Mr. Cool Daddy, but once again, Mr. Cool Daddy is showing that he is going to fight against the outside invasion. Definitely. I mean, I'm really impressed here. Mr. Cool Daddy not letting them intimidate him. And now he finally gets the tag to Skull Rider, a much needed tag now. Now let's see what Skull Rider can do here against the boys. Yes, yeah, it's going to be really interesting, but as I'm saying, in a way, this is kind of like USA taking on, USA taking on Germany, Russia, you know, it's one of those things, but as I said, as I say, just as we was talking about there, we saw them very brutal knees by by Vlad. I mean, Bo I mean Boris. Ah, goddamn it! These names are really confusing. As I say now, Skull Rider again. He's fine. He's only actually brought Vlad into the ring now, and now suddenly Skull Rider is taking on both arms. But oh, oh, oh. Uh, Boris, man, that's unreal. I tell you, that was probably not a good move by Skull Rider. He just let his emotion get the best of him. Um, look at this now, it's going back to the favor of outside invasion, that score rider is trying his best, but as I was saying, as I was saying before, it's the kicks that Boris possesses that are the most deadly, whereas in Vlad's case, it's more of the punches, and now when the score rider has reversed, uh, uh, reversed Boris, they are, oh my god, these names are so confusing, why could they have names like Steve and Mike, it would be so easy, but anyway, look at this now, score rider, Fighting off. Goes and tags back in Mr. Cool Daddy again. These tags are going to work really well against the outside invasion. Let's just say now the outside invasion. Look at this here. <coughs> oh my god. A huge backbreaker there. Once again, the outside invasion again just takes the offense after one thing. They just completely take all the offense if they do one mistake. You cannot do one mistake against this team. Oh, wait a minute, look at this here. Oh, there's that tag that they needed. Now Skull Rider on fire. What's going to happen here? He's going to he's gonna face my land off his finisher. Well, look at that there. Oh my god. I, I, I think he was going for his finisher. Whoa, that was a huge clothesline. Oh my line. god. And I mean, that, that definitely looked like he was going for the Skull Crusher, but Boris, oh man. And here's the cover now. Is it going to be it? Oh, oh my man. god. But I think really what put the damage there was that clothesline. If you look to the back of the head of uh, Skull Rider, that his back of his head just snapped back. Off the turn. Yeah, he was never able to recover after that. I mean, that was just went for the Skull Crusher, got reversed, whipped it to the corner, huge clothesline. And just a couple of seconds later, here we go, outside invasion. We'll be taking on Speck and Fletch in the semi final round of the tag team tournament. We'll be right back, fans. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 